Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Today we're going to be talking about deodorants. Uh, over the past 12 months or so, I've tried quite a few different deodorant options out. Quite a few different brands, different styles. Different... So I thought it'd be useful if I went through them. Uh, you know, obviously they're all personal care products and so what works for me might not work for somebody else. Just in case you were starting out and you're a bit stuck of options to try, or maybe you're not in love with the product you're currently using and so you know you wanted to look for alternatives hopefully you'll find this video useful so we'll get straight into it so the first deodorant I tried was literally just using sodium bicarbonate and if you've been kind of following the zero waste movement for a while you'll realize that sodium bicarbonate is literally the magic ingredient for everything and I heard that you could literally just dust it on your underarms and you'd be good to go so that's what I did and I should probably start by saying that most zero waste deodorants are based on sodium bicarbonate as one of the main ingredients and apparently it's because it changes the pH level of your skin so the bacteria on your skin which normally produce the odour can't multiply and therefore you don't get the smell and they're all deodorants and not antiperspirants so it doesn't stop you sweating but it stops you smelling if that makes sense so yeah, so I just started putting sodium bicarbonate on my underarms and in fairness, it does actually work, it does stop any odour and you know, it was pretty effective. On the plus side, it's readily available, it's really cheap, you can get it in bulk really easily so it makes it quite simple to get uh, plastic free. The reasons I stopped using it in the end were partly because I didn't like the sort of gritty sensation of having essentially like a sandy substance in your underarms and also the main issue I had was if I just shaved my underarms that morning and then put the sodium bicarbonate on kind of obviously it really started to sting and it lasted for quite a long time and it just got to the point I couldn't I couldn't just I couldn't do it on a long-term basis so I moved on to my second deodorant this one was the Meow Meow Tweet uh, grapefruit scent and this one, and this one doesn't contain any sodium bicarbonate in it, so if you do find that you find sodium bicarbonate quite irritant on your skin, it would be a good option to try. So that's one thing. Otherwise, I think the ingredients are all vegan. It comes in a cardboard sort of push-up tube, so you just push it up from the bottom and just use it on your skin that way. So you can obviously recycle or compost the packaging for that, which is really great. Uh, it smelt absolutely amazing. The downside of it for me was that although I started the day feeling really fresh, I just felt it didn't give me the same odour protection as just using the sodium bicarbonate. Uh, so for me, I didn't really find it did the job quite as well. The other thing is, I think because it's based in America, it can be quite expensive to ship over. So that's something to consider. If you are based in America, then happy days. It should be a lot cheaper for you. Uh, but I moved on, and I moved on to this one, which is the Fitbit deodorant and as you can see it comes in different sizes so I got the tester one first to make sure I liked it this one's four pounds and then the bigger ones are eight pounds each uh, the little one lasts a bit over a month and the bigger ones last at least three months each I absolutely love this deodorant as you can see I keep going back to it it comes in glass and metal packaging which is really great you can obviously recycle or reuse these little containers and it sort of comes in a whipped formula so this one's my new one here so as you can see it comes in this sort of whipped formula it's just really soft and smooth you literally just pick it up with your fingers and apply it to your underarms this, the odour protection lasts all day and they all smell amazing I've had two different scents here so this was just the standard women's scent and this is tea tree and orange and I feel a lot of people expect when they go to these sort of products that you know you're gonna have to tolerate a bit of a compromise it's not gonna be quite as good as what you've been using before what you used to buy at the supermarket or the pharmacy or wherever and I must say that I prefer this product to my old deodorants I used to buy at the shops the nice scent doesn't wear off throughout the day it gives you really good odor protection as I said the only downside is if you get dressed too quickly after putting it on your underarms and you're not careful then you get white stains on your clothes and they wash out but they are a bit annoying they don't wipe off that easily so that's the only thing for those 
The other thing is they're not that available in all zero waste shops in the UK, so I've always had to buy mine online, so you've got to factor in the extra postage as well. I have also tried, on my journeys, uh, the Earth Conscious deodorant. The packaging on here is really grubby, I'm really sorry. And this comes in a push-up tube, like the Meow Meow Tweet one. So you literally just push it up from the bottom, it comes out of the top, and you just apply it to your underarms directly. Obviously the packaging is cardboard, so you can just recycle or compost it. Uh, all the ingredients are vegan, and it is really effective. I think it's just as good effectiveness-wise as the Fitbit. The only reason I prefer the Fitbit over this one is I find this one marks my clothes a little more. Um, but this is readily available in pretty much all the zero waste shops I've been to and you can also get a version in a tin so that's what you so you apply that with your fingers the same as the Fitbit one and it they smell really great and they're comparative price as well to the Fitbit ones so there's not really that much between them you could collect one of these probably quite easily all right so that's all the options that's four different zero waste deodorant options you can have a go at if you've tried anything that you would really recommend that I've not mentioned here, I've not tried any of the uh, Lush deodorants and I've not tried using Allen Stones. So if you have, please comment down below to hopefully help me and somebody else out. And if you're interested in any more review videos, I have got some more coming out soon, then feel free to subscribe and you won't miss out. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.